Madison. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. How are you on this lovely Love Your Lawyer Day? Oh, boy. Loving our lawyers. <laughs> I was going to say, you're busy <laughs> loving your lawyers? Yeah. So you are the business services coordinator for the city attorney's office, yes, correct? Yes, Yes. And though you aren't directly in law, you do a lot of, most of the administrative stuff behind the scenes, right? Yes, that's what I do. So you see every day. What these Every guys day, work on. Yes, I see their passion. I see their frustrations. I see it all. Right. And, uh, you know, they say love your lawyer and they say you should always retain a lawyer. So it's a good thing to have a lawyer around. Right. Because you don't <laughs> usually hear like love your lawyer because I know sometimes they get a bad rap. They, right. get, they, they have to get involved in some contentious things mm-hmm. once in a while. But like, what's, what's some of the reasons when you've been o- over there, like, why should we love our lawyers? Why does our city attorney's office rock so much? Because um, we've got a smart crew in that office. They're brilliant. They know their craft. And uh, they do it passionately because, you know, they're helping out the city. Right. And um, they're all, all the way from Amber all the way down to me, you know. Yeah. Um, they're all fantastic in that office. Yeah, because they're, I mean, they're super busy because not only are they dealing with some of the things that might get a little more contentious in, in the news, but also some of the smaller day-to-day stuff. So can right. you tell us a little bit about like the smaller things that they work on? There's like... Well, the yeah. legal requests. Okay, yes. mm-hmm. you start out with a legal request and uh, depending on what it is or what department it is for, Amber will uh, designate somebody to take care of that issue. Uh, Sometimes it's huge, sometimes minute, but uh, all of it gets done all in a timely manner. Right. And um, it's always touched by an attorney, you know, and a paralegal. You know, our girls are great, too. Mm -hmm. And um, but it's sometimes it gets uh, redundant, but, you know, it's it's. It's the job. Right. And I think everybody kind of deals we with the redundancy, with yes. especially ar- around here with mm-hmm. government processes. They right. definitely get mm-hmm. <laughs> repetitive, but they're in place for a reason. Yes, exactly. Um, there's a process for everything and there's yes. a, a way to do things. So, right. um, yeah, Amber has um, placed some great policies and uh, she's uh, loaded us up with some good, good equipment Um not equipment, software oh, sure. to use mm-hmm. for records management. Management, you know, we're a paperless office. Yes, we do that's not right. keep and any you guys paper, pride no yourself file on cabinets that. or anything like that. And so you guys would need an extra wing if, if you kept uh, all the yeah, paper. <laughs> exactly. But um, yeah, she's brought that on. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we we love them here. Love seeing them in, in the halls. And I know even just a couple of weeks ago, it was also Love Your Paralegal Day, right? Love your paralegals, yeah. So yeah, so like you said, those guys are awesome uh-huh. as well. Yes. So is there? Can you describe like what the difference is between an attorney and a paralegal? Like what are what? Why are they both important? Is that something you can speak to? We mm, well from seeing the way Riza is in our office the only thing she's missing is a law degree because Mm -hmm. she gives a lot of assistance to our other attorneys uh she is an expert in her field and really the only thing she's missing is a law degree sure um she's wow she's brilliant (laughs) you know yeah and that's why the lawyers look to her to to review their stuff and give it a second pair of eyes sure. and always um, important mm-hmm. yeah um but yeah our paralegals are just as important as our attorneys right not only is there Riza, but there's dawn as well so yes. tell us a little bit about her dawn also is uh, brilliant because she comes uh, into our office with many many years of real estate experience so she does a lot of the land stuff with margaret and uh gives her two cents also and uh boy we'd be lost in our office without her and sure. her and Risa. So, um, yeah, I love our paralegals and love our attorneys, man. <laughs> yeah. We love them all. And love our business services coordinators. <laughs> yeah. You know. It's fun. <laughs> I mean, you know, like other people in there don't have a law degree. You don't have a law no, degree. But you're still no. involved in all the processes. I know you're right. the one that keeps these legal requests mm-hmm. flowing yes, correctly. Yes, yes. So what else does your day-to-day entail? 
My day-to-day is take care of Amber, make sure she's happy, make sure all the um, all the logistics are good. You know, we just hired a new assistant city attorney. Yes. And yep. mm-hmm. uh, she'll be starting on Monday. And so we've got all that that we're working on. Um, it's a lot, but yeah. it gets done. Yeah. You know? I mean... I've seen yeah. how great the processes are over, yeah. over there. So, yeah, because we wanted to get the perspective from someone who may not necessarily be a lawyer, mm-hmm. but knows exactly why we should love our lawyers. Yes, yes. That's why we wanted you on here, Amy. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Great. Thanks for having yeah, thanks me. Thanks so much for joining, mm-hmm. and um, hope you all love your lawyer today. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Bye.